I'm on a, a short round the world trip uh, visiting museums in America, England, um, Sweden and, and here in the Netherlands um, because they all have important historical collections of um, both Tasmanian devils and Tasmanian tigers. Well, I'm, um, I'm here to collect some uh, ancient DNA samples from Tasmanian devils and Tasmanian tigers to do some research on uh, how and when those two species went extinct on the mainland in Australia and also to try and understand uh, some background to the uh, devil facial tumour disease that's threatening the Tasmanian devil with extinction. The prediction is that um, Tasmanian devils may go extinct in the wild in the next 20 or 25 years. Well, ancient DNA is uh, DNA that survives in um, old museum material um, of animals such as this, the, ta the Tasmanian tiger. It's um, DNA that's no longer alive and it, it's broken down and, and um, it, there's very little of it that remains, so it's, it's quite difficult to work with. Well, on um, a skin such as this one, we can take a small piece of the toe pad from the bottom of the foot here, um, and that means that um, the, there's very little damage done to the, the specimen altogether, and it's, it's almost invisible um, to the naked eye. It's very hard to tell that, that anyone's come and sampled. It's not like I've, I've cut a square of skin off the, off the animal. No, not really, and there's, there's two main reasons why um, I don't think that should happen. The first is that the DNA preserved in specimens such as this um, isn't good enough quality to actually get a complete thylacine genome. And without that complete genome, there's no hope of, of bringing an extinct species back to life because the DNA is just broken up into such small pieces and a lot of the, the um, DNA sequence has actually been modified so that it's, it's almost impossible to get a, a, a full uh, thylacine or Tasmanian tiger genome. Um, people talk about trying to put together pieces of DNA from thylacines and Tasmanian devils and come up with some sort of hybrid genome. That, but then again, it's, it's not a Tasmanian devil, then it's, it's something completely new. It's almost like a, you know, a Frankenstein kind of um, uh, recreation. Although there's hundreds of species that have gone extinct in the last 300 years, mostly due to um, the influence of, of, of humans, there are thousands of species which are currently threatened with extinction and I really think that the amount of money that could, would needed to be spent to even attempt to clone an animal such as the thylacine would be much better spent on saving endangered species from going extinct, species such as the Tasmanian devil for example.